Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Who are you doing? Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. What do we do? We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be juicy. to express, so I feel stressed. Let's get started, it's time for Hot Topic. Yesterday, I'm in Jersey, I'm minding my own business, I'm reflecting on yesterday's show and what I could have done better or different. And I always do that because I'm a, a hard on myself. But you know what I was thinking? I left out the part where I was talking about Scotty Pippen. You know what, Scotty? And by the way, if you didn't watch yesterday, then look, miss a day, miss a lot. Okay. <laughs> but look, you know what, Scotty? This all started when you let Larza, you agreed as a family, I'm not gonna say let, but agreed as a family that she'd be part of the Housewives of Miami. Cause when I saw the lineup, I was like, what? <laughs> like I'm thinking like, you know, the basketball players whose wives go on stuff like that, or people like maybe like Jennifer Williams. Remember her ex-husband was um, Eric Williams with a lump in his head? <laughs> But I'm, not, uh, but I'm not thinking a housewife thing is for a Pippin. So, you know, really, Scotty, uh, figure out what you're gonna do. And Larsa, by the way, I forgot to add to you all, is best friends, or one of the best friends, with the Kardashians. So I wonder if Chris is secretly pulling puppet strings from behind the scenes. That's all, another story we're following. Anyway, let's move along, there's more trouble in the Chris Brown camp. You know, um, he has now, as far as I'm concerned, hit damn near rock bottom. I don't know um, what to say about him other than to give you the information and to be glad that, uh, that, uh... <laughs> Anyway, Chris got hit with a restraining order uh, from his ex, Karuchi Tran. Oh. Why, you ask? Well, she claims that Chris threatened to kill her. And these are quotes from her mouth. I read several different transcripts of several different interviews, plus I saw the restraining order, which is everywhere. Like nothing is private anymore, you know what I mean? Um, she says in it, amongst other things, he punched her in the stomach twice, which probably means more. Yeah. Threw her down the steps once, allegedly. Yeah. This is according to her restraining order, and but yet, Karuchi, you stayed for four years. I mean, we didn't know who you were before you were with Chris, and so, you know, you stayed and you put up with it, but now Chris, Karuchi hasn't been with you for two years. And I know Rihanna is celebrating her birthday this week in high style, like, woo! Woo! <laughs> yes! Uh, you know, so, so Karuchi, um, I'm, I'm sorry that you had to file this restraining order. He's got to stay 100 yards away from um, her, which we discussed this, is a full football field. Also, stay 100 yards away from her mother and her brother. Her brother is 18 years old. Oh. She's also got to stay, he's also got to stay away from her job, and she does many things. Um, 
and, and her car. Well, um, Chris did this video yesterday, and I must say, he looks rough. He looks like he hasn't slept in about three, this is not the video, this is not the video. It's the other one. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, this one. Look how black, or, look, look how dark his eyes are. He looks like he hasn't slept in five years. And we're not playing the audio, but I can tell you it's everywhere online. Chris sounds, as my parents would say, three sheets into the wind. In other words, lit. <laughs> um, and, you know, just because you throw on some chains doesn't mean you look clean and, and about your business. He sounded crazy. He's been allowed. Um, he's been following uh, this Karuchi ever since they broke up, like stalking her for the past two years. Like scary, Karuchi, scary. This is him, allegedly he showed up at the club where she was. She jumps in her car uh, service and he sees an unlocked door and jumps in too. He wasn't even a part of her set that night. She's trying to hold herself together. But you know, remember he had that oops baby who's beautiful, Violet. But remember, he was with Karuchi and then they broke up and then he got with another girl and then he had the baby and that, well, that was when Karuchi was like, I've had it. This is what, <clears throat> to me, really sucks about being either privileged too young or being celebrated too young. Two different things. Privileged would be like, you know, a Trump or a DuPont, you know, or, or a Johnson, you know, of Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. You know, uh, celebrated would be like these kids, like Chris Brown, he didn't gr grow up privileged, but he was celebrated so early in his life. Remember, he was the Wrigley uh, boy, the double mint uh, person, the double mint kid. He could do cartwheels off chairs and oh! <laughs> and I know they all have to grow up, but grow into what? <laughs> so he's just announced that he's going on another tour which sounds disastrous. It's gonna be 50 Cent, Fabulous, and um, Cap G. Uh, I don't know how many cities the tour is. I don't know how long he'll be gone, but we will definitely be following the story. It's just really, really sad. You know, he showed up at Karuchi's house also. Didn't he, Norman? He did. Uh-huh. When he got in that car, uh -huh. he like followed her uh, she kicked him out. Right. And then she went home, and then he followed her to her house. Uh huh. She left the house, went to a diner, mm -hmm. and then he followed her to the diner. Allegedly. All, all of this is allegedly. Okay. But I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess the. the, the no, n not really. But we see it. I mean, you know, the unfortunate part about Chris's spiralization from civilization is that he's left so much on, you know, on social media that we have all the receipts. For instance, look at this one. Now this would be the one I want you to show where he has the braids and he's talking about, um, I'm that guy. Can we show that? Go. Y'all be complaining about being like stalkers in love with y'all kind of crazy and get tired of it. Well, guess what? I'm one of them If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. I'm gonna make you miserable. Um, he's 27 years old. I don't know what you were doing when you were 27, but while I was doing a lot of things, <laughs> I was able to show up to my radio job on time and try to stay out of the Daily News on page six. I still had a degree of fear of shaming my family, even though that didn't stop me from partying and having a good time. My thing is I think that he's not scared of anyone. He's not scared of his mom. Remember, she's the one who uh, saw him in rehab and he had a word with her out in the parking lot and ended up th throwing a boulder through her front windshield in the middle of some sort of fight, his own mom. And then I guess his management isn't worth a nickel. And the people who handle him, his record label, I guess they can't tell him anything. And he's 27, that's a grown man. I guess they can't tell him anything. But Chris, at 27, even when people can't tell you, like I knew stuff at 27. I, like I knew, even if no one else around me knew anything regarding how to, you know, 
at least conduct, conduct myself for the purpose of my radio audience and showing up to work and you know pulling it together. Like I knew stuff. And so I'm not giving him a pass. 27 is too grown to be acting like this. Right? <clears throat> Sometimes we're too you know, easy on these kids. But think about your life when you were 27. A lot of you all were like this, right? <laughs> and managing, and this is not a bowl of uh, dinner, this is a baby. <laughs> okay, so Tori and Dean. I really um, had no idea that they were still a part of uh, Hot Topics. <laughs> but I was begged to share this story with you because you all might care about Tori and her new nose. You know what's really wild? No, this is, this is a tale. It might just be in my community, the black community, but they say sometimes, you know, when you get pregnant and your nose spreads. Tori girl. How you doing, sister? Yes, Tori. The fifth baby's taking everything out of you. This is her fifth? Or her sixth? <laughs> is it her fifth, sixth? This is her fifth kid. <laughs> Tori and Dean are in hot water because Dean's beautiful ex, Mary Jo, who he was married to for several years. How many years? You ask? I think eight. They have a son who's 18. Mary Jo's pretty. Um, anyway, according to the Daily Mail, Candy Spelling, this is Tori's mom, recently spent $40,000 on a baby shower for Tori and Dean's fifth child. Well, now you know what? Why not? Grandmas should be happy. And if they have the money, why not spend it? You know, if, to well, I, I mean, this is not my style. Suzanne, have you ever? No, I've never seen. Would you ever? No, I never. I had my baby shower at a bar. Me too! <laughs> Uh, it was that before or after the baby was born? Be uh, before the baby was born. Yeah. Yeah, at a bar so people could enjoy themselves and relax. Yeah. I had mine at the old original book binders, which was in Philly, but it's no longer open. But I had it after the baby was here because I wanted to be sure there was something to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I hated every minute of it. That stupid hat and all those stupid... Girl games. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> uh. Anyway, so Mary Jo is pissed because Dean owes her thousands of dollars in back child support for their son, Jack. Now, Jack is now grown. He's 18 years old. She filed court papers. They claim that Dean hasn't paid her anything since July 1st of 2016. Oh. And he owes her $6,000. Oh. Well, now, Dean, you don't have $6,000? Well, I know that uh, what your, your job, that when last we found out you were doing Chopped Canada, but that's not on anymore. And that was where you allegedly had that affair with that woman, uh, Mrs. Goodhands. Oh, excuse me, her first name, Emily, last name, Goodhands. And... <laughs> And it's weird, because still to this day, I think that this is a fake story that Tori and Dean collaborated on to get us to talk about them so they can be in the People magazine and on Hot Topics. Like, you know, and, and because this Emily Goodhands has never gone on The Insider. <laughs> you know, she's never talked to Maria Menudos over at the E! Entertainment. <laughs> you know, and normally, like if you're thotting around, you eventually lose patience because you realize that the man you're thotting with has a full family and only has time with you, you know, every, you know, fifth month. And you get pissed, so you start calling people. But Miss Goodhands never stepped up. Um, Emily uh, Goodhands, Attention Canada. <laughs> no, we know you watch us there. Fan out. 
show me who Emily Goodhands is. In the meantime, so Mary Jo is claiming that he also owes her a hundred and, uh, excuse me, uh, $108,000 uh, or something or another until July of 2020. I don't know whether that's for child support or whether that's for spousal support, but if you look at the boy, he's clearly not a child, he's 18 years old. Now, Tori should have asked her mom for the money and then paid her mom, I mean, she should have gone crawling. I mean, you know, her mom, Candy, got all of Aaron Spelling's money and she's worth like $500 million at this point. And I tried to do, you know, a, 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 you know, a calculation on about what Dean owes between child support and maybe good hands, plus the money they owe in Express. American Express, Texas. allegedly, uh -huh. is eighty-seven thousand oh. dollars, and just under, uh, just under uh, two hundred and sixty thousand dollars in back taxes. Mm -hmm. So you add that with the child support and everything, and I think that. If you go to your mom and you talk to her and you make that tear fall down yes. and maybe, you know, and, and maybe hold her hand while you tell her, she'll give you that money and then you tell her, mom, I'll pay you back with interest starting today, but please help us with this because this is keeping us not in a good public favor. favor. So no word yet if anything has been paid off, but, um, I don't care. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, 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 don't, I don't care. I mean, I did, I did that story for you, so uh, happy Easter. Which by the way, <laughs> no, which, which by the way, have you seen that peeps and the Easter candies are already being displayed? Yes. That means spring is on the way. Yeah. I know. Okay, Mike Epps, I've known you for so long that I just have never seen you in this light. You're a beautiful uh, spirit. You have beautiful teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they have their own separate show. <laughs> uh, but I've known Mike since radio. He's been here several times. Uh, he's always... Um, Happy birthday, sir. Look, it's King Vitamin over there celebrating his birthday. Yes. Yes. So back to Mike. Okay. So a man is claiming that Mike and a friend beat him up in a New Orleans casino at four o'clock in the morning over the weekend. Now, first of all, nothing, ha nothing good happens after midnight, much less four o'clock in the morning. A TMZ obtained the photo of the alleged victim and he hears, yup, they got him good. <laughs> but he was having a good time, he's wearing beads. So, so the man claims, and here's what the man claimed. I said, oh, Mike Epps. And then he goes, the next thing you know, he started hitting me in the face unprovoked and had a handful of chips. So I just basically, and I don't know whether these are like potato chips or whether they're casino chips. Like I don't gamble, I'm a foodie. So I'm thinking, you know, jalapeno chips. Anyway, so he said, um, I just basically bent down to protect myself, you know, with the chips. And he says, and then my friends ran over and got in front of me and then security came. So now this guy is suing Mike. Mike was arrested and um, the guy was arrested a thousand dollars, you know, which is not, you know, that's not a whole lot of money. Uh, the problem is, is that Mike did not show up for arraignment yesterday, which means what everyone? Mike Epps, there's a warrant for your arrest. Now, you know I love to, you know I'm a crime stopper. But in this particular case, if I were to go outside and see Mike Epps, I'd look down, I would, I would not see something and say something. I'd be like, nope, that's my friend. And there has to be more to the story. I'm not saying nothing. Mm. 
All right, let's see what Suzanne's wearing. It's time for Wendy's Tropical Punch giveaway. Hit it. I'm a flying fish. They're a delicacy down in the Caribbean. You can eat flying fish sandwiches. Perfect, Suzanne. Let's get uh, today's caller on the line. Her name is Malika and she lives in Staten Island. The official sound of Staten Island is so. Hey. Hey, hey Malika. Hi. Hi, it's Wendy. Hi, oh my God. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> so you watch our show every day on WNYW. We're so glad that you're here. Suzanne is here as well and we're gonna find out what you're playing for, okay? Okay. Now you'll pick, by the way, you know, the Wu-Tang Clan used to always say, so I feel like I said something people from Staten Island don't even know. So you all. Oh. All right, go, go ahead. So excited. Pick a number, Malika, between yes, one and uh, 20. I'm gonna pick a 17. 17? It's all the way over here. Do Where you want me it? to help you? Okay. Trouble, please! What's behind number 17? I thought you were a turtle. I seven. Bahamas! Oh. Thanks to our friends at Liberty Travel, we're flying you and a guest to the Bahamas. You'll get a five-day, four-night stay at the Malia Nassau Beach Resort, set in the amazing Cable Beach in Nassau. This all-inclusive luxury resort has all the amenities to make your experience unique. A la carte dining, bars, and all-day activities make Malia Nassau Beach a jewel in the Caribbean. All right, it's gonna be fabulous. Now, yeah. have you been to the Bahamas before? No, Perfect. No, never. So now you're going and you're going on the house, but only if you guess correctly, okay? 15 seconds. Okay. All right, on yesterday's show, three lucky Wendy watchers got to shake their bonbon with Ricky Martin. One of our contestants <laughs> had a word written across her, her booty. What was the word? 15 seconds and go. Uh, uh, give me a second, uh, it was like a, Three, uh, three women, one from the first one from Boston. Is that a question? Oh my God, the first one was from the Boston. Malika. It's a nurse from Boston, Kim, that's the only thing. No, the no, there was, there was one word, she was a cop, and the word was actually Ricky's name, Ricky. It's okay, Malika. Thank you so much. Listen, nobody's a loser here at Wendy. We're gonna send you a $250 gift card to spend it the way you want. Thank you. And make sure that you pay attention and watch our show every day because we might be calling you next and we've got more great show today. Today is National Margarita Day. Turn up time as we make delicious margaritas in the Wendy kitchen. But up next, the very funny Yvette Nicole Brown is here. Yeah. 